What's up, fellas? So today we're here to talk about the three pills, all right? The blue pill, the purple pill, and the red pill, all right? Now, so first I'm gonna talk about the blue pill. And the reason I wanna talk about these pills, guys, is because a lot of guys don't understand what the content comes from. A lot of the content comes from these three pills, all right? These three dynamics pretty much just, uh, explains the whole male population, all right, guys? So the blue pill, guys, is the classic beta male, all right? And what I mean beta male, they're totally naive, all right? They don't know female nature, all right? They haven't been exposed to it, all right? So a lot of you young guys who just started following my content and a lot of the stuff I tell you, you just feel you don't want to believe it, all right? Because you haven't lived life long enough to experience it, all right? That's the bottom fucking line, guys. So what you got right here, guys, with the... Uh, the uh, beta male, the blue pill guy is, he's totally naive. He hasn't experienced it. And so he doesn't know anything. He doesn't understand it yet. He hasn't been exposed to it yet. That's your classic blue pill guy. And one thing about the blue pill guy, what the one benefit of being a blue, blue pill guy is they're not jealous. All right. The reason they don't get jealous is because they don't know female nature. They don't know women step out from time to time. When I say that, I think a lot of you guys think I'm talking about a woman steps out every fucking day. A woman might just step out on you once a year. All right. Or once every fucking two years or whatever the case may be. Maybe she does step out on you every day. But I'm just saying hypothetically, uh, a woman will step out, but she ain't going to step out on you every fucking day. All right. She'll step out on you periodically. It might be once a year, once every two years, but she will step out on you. All right, guys, the blue pill guy doesn't get jealous because he doesn't know that he doesn't know women step out. All right. So that's the one benefit of being a blue pill guy. You just naive. You just don't know shit. All right. You just haven't experienced it yet. All right. The purple pill guy is a little bit more of a complex guy. All right. Because here's the thing with the purple pill guy. He knows female nature, all right? He knows it. And this is the thing with the purple pill guy. He knows female nature, but he needs a relationship, all right? So that comes a problem, all right? So this is why you're going to see a purple pill guy. He's the very jealous, insecure guy, all right? Anytime you see a guy that's in a relationship that's very jealous, that's because he knows female nature, but he needs a relationship. So he's in a little bit of a conundrum because he knows it. Like a lot of you guys who follow me and stuff like this right here, okay? if you ever decide to get back in a relationship, you will be a purple pill guy, but you'll never trust that bitch. You will never trust her, all right? It's because you know female nature. You know she'll step out on you, all right? Another thing about the purple pill guy is he just accept female nature for what it fucking is, all right? And what I mean by that, guys, is he knows that if he loses his fucking job or something like that, he knows she's on the first thing smoking up out of there. He just accepts it, all right? And, you know, that's kind of sad, but that's that's the reality with a lot of Purple Peel guys. I don't know if you guys ever seen these memes of Jay-Z with Beyonce and stuff like this, and they be at the fucking game and shit like this. And you'll see him on the meme and she'll be texting on his phone and he'll be doing like this, looking out the corner of his eye, her text like this right here, looking. That's because he's a purple pill guy, all right? He's in a relationship. He needs the intimacy of a woman. He needs a commitment of a woman, but he don't trust her, all right? And if you ask Jay-Z, man to man, hey, man, you know, if the feds came and took everything you got, if the feds came and took all your money, your homes, your car, left you bankrupt, and 20 million in debt. Do you think Beyonce would stand by your side? I guarantee you, man to man, he'll tell you no, I don't think so, all right? That's the bottom line with any purple pill man is that they never trust a woman and they know that if they ever fell into hard times, that the woman would be on the first thing smoking. They know that, they just accept it, all right? And last but not least, guys, is the red pill guy. Now, the red pill guy is a guy that's single and just date because he understands female nature and usually the red pill i think is a good phrase of the red pill is the red pill guy um usually gonna come across as bitter all right so if a lot of you guys watch my videos or something like this you'll see women in the comments on the video say this dude sounds bitter this dude sounds bitter it's not that i'm bitter at women i'm really bitter at my reality and what my reality is is either be single and stay single and just date, which means that I'll never have love in my life or 
go back to being a purple pill guy and just accept female nature for the way it fucking is and knowing that she'll leave me if I lost my resources. All right, so that's why when you run across red pill guys, that's why we typically gonna sound bitter. It's because we know what choices we have. We know we have either those two choices, stay single and never find love, never, have, never love a woman. You know, there's only one way she can't love you. You can only love her, either accept that or go back to getting in a relationship and just accept that if you if you fell on hard times, she's going to be on the first thing smoking. That's the hardest. That's why it, when you run across a true red pill man, that's why they sound so fucking bitter. All right. Now, here's the thing with this, guys. You know, I want you guys bitter at women or whatever the case may be. If you're going to be bitter at anything, be bitter at mother nature. All right. But if you really understand human human uh, evolution, you would know that nature has has installed this shit in women for a reason. All right? the, the world cannot survive without women being hardwired to be that way. All right? It's simply, listen guys, it, listen, if women aren't hardwired to be about resources, well, essentially what you have is you have a lot of men who have no motivation to be successful. I know that shit sounds crazy as fucking hell, but if women just loved offer just pure merits the man as an individual, I don't even know how long the world would survive. I'm, I'm just being honest with you. I really don't know how long the world would survive. Women are built to survive, all right? So they tend to be selfish and they're hardwired the way Mother Nature has hardwired them to be that way to keep human evolution going, all right? So that men provide the resources for the offspring like i told you guys it's not for the woman like when you when you typically watch tv and stuff like this you think the woman want resources so she can go out and buy a bunch of hermes bags and gucci bags and this that and the other women are hardwired and some of them do but women are hardwired to want a man with resources so her her offspring have a better chance of survival all right that's what it comes down to women are hardwired now the thing is, they're still hardwired from generations when people badly could eat and shit like this right here in the case may be, but it's still going to carry over to the day. All right? Women are hardwired to want a man with resources, all right? and women are hardwired to leave you if you fall on hard times because it's for the betterment of the kids. It's for the betterment of the offspring, even if you ain't got no fucking kids. All right? Women are hardwired to just think like that. All right, it's just the way it is, guys. So, you know, I don't want you guys bitter at women. Just, you know, if you're going to be bitter at anything, be bitter at Mother Nature because it has what made, has hardwired women to be like that. All right? And the purple pill guy never trusts a woman because he knows women are evolutionally hardwired to want to replicate the alpha male. All right? Which is going to be me, guy. Which is, when, 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 I, when I say the alpha male, it's going to be somebody like me, six foot four, six foot five broad shoulders good looking guy it's gonna be somebody like me that's just that's just the way it fucking it ain't gotta be just there it could be a five seven guy that's a fucking alpha male whatever the case may be but the women are, are hardwired to want to replicate their fucking alpha male it's just the way it is guys she wants to have a baby by the alpha male back in the day with the kings and shit like that still to the day the king will have a thousand fucking women they all trying to have kids by the fucking king it's just the fucking way it is guys and so you know, we red pill guys, we start with a conundrum. Do we just want to date for the rest of our fucking lives? Or do we go back purple pill and just accept female nature for the way it is? She's going to leave me if I lost everything. And she's probably going to step out from time to time. All right. As a purple pill guy, you would never trust a woman. you Because you know female nature and you know she can't love you so you know any purple pill guy knows if i lose my job she's out of here every purple pill guy knows that all right which is kind of a sad reality all right so you trust your i'm gonna be red pill probably you know whatever the case may be if i ran into a girl that just blew me away made a million dollars or whatever the case may be or whatever the case may be in the future or some who knows i doubt it but like most guys no matter how you know who you is or how alpha male you is right now, most guys at some point enter into a, a beta male 
enter back into a beta male stage. Even if you just accept female nature, you just enter back into a beta male stage to where everything just gets old. Some guys don't do it. George Clooney, I think they're getting married to, he's like 55. Up to that point, he had been a bachelor all his fucking life, all right? So most guys at some point, they just accept it and just want to settle down and start a family, whatever the case may be, all right? All right, and also I want to talk to you guys about how to handle losses, all right? Well, here's the thing with losses, guys. I seen a guy put this in the comment section of the video, and it's a good. Guys, all losses are, it's just failures with monetary loss. That's all it is. And so, guys, all losses is, is the same thing as failures. It's a learning experience. Unfortunately, when you go out and you do things in the real world, or whatever the case may be, and you make a, you make a mistake or a failure or something, you don't lose shit. It's just a loss of time and, you know, a learning experience. In business... If you make a mistake, you're going to lose money, all right? And I'll give y'all a case in point. My live stream yesterday, I had the TV on behind me. YouTube, uh, they didn't give me a strike, but uh, I, they demonetized the video because they pulled up the video as a fucking uh, movie. And, they, and the, the, the filter picked that shit up. Even though it's behind me, even though it was on fucking mute, the filter still put that, picked that shit up and demonetized the video. Now, let's hypothetically say... That video make me $50 a month over a course of a year. So over the course of a year, I just lost $600 off of that one live stream being lost. So that's $600 a month just from that mistake. Y'all guys see that? I ain't bitching complain about it or none of that. I'm going to just take it as a learning experience to make sure that going forward, no music is playing in the background, no TVs are playing. Y'all guys have seen me play this TV here, been on a bunch of times. Now, this is the bedroom TV. That was the living room TV. But y'all have seen this TV on a bunch of times, and luckily, nothing has ever been flagged. All right, so I'm lucky in that aspect. But it's a learning experience. Just because the TV's on mute or nothing like this, if they pick it up, they can give me a copyright uh, and demonetize the video. They didn't give me a, a copyright strike, strike or nothing, but they demonetized the video. That's costing me money. That was a mistake. It was a big mistake. But I'm just going to accept it as a learning experience and move on. I know going forward not to do no shit like that again, to make sure sure that I fucking got nothing playing in the background, nobody playing music next door, because YouTube pick every fucking thing up, all right? So that's how you got to look at losses, guys. It's a reason why when you run a business, guy, guys, they don't uh, charge you no taxes the first year. They get you exempt from taxes uh, the first year of your business or whatever the case may be, all right? Uh, just uh, state taxes. You exempt from, because they know you're going to make mistakes, all right, they know you're gonna fuck up and make mistakes, and they know you're probably gonna be in the fucking red from fucking making mistakes. I had bought a car back home from a guy who had a dealer's license back home, Alabama, this years ago. It took me fucking six months to get my fucking title because the dude had just started doing it. He didn't know how to go through all the paperwork and shit to get the fucking title. It took us six months of, paper, of, of, of him trying to figure this shit out just for me to get my title to my car, all right? Just because he, it was his first time starting business, he was fresh out, so he was still learning, all right? So guys, if, you, if, if you're in business, guys, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to take losses. Don't fret on it. That's how you fucking learn. I, you know, what I'm getting is... A lot of you guys don't want to make mistakes. This is the number one reason why guys, people don't start businesses. A fear of loss. All right, you're going to take losses. I've taken losses. All right, I've taken a, a bunch of losses in figuring shit out. Just mistakes is only going to make me better in the future, guys. So do not be afraid of loss. You're going to lose money. I wish it was like, you know, some things in life where you just make a mistake and you just learn from it as a, a learning experience. In business, you learn for learn with it out your fucking pocket, all right? I'm going to tell you something about that too, guys. It makes it stick a lot harder, you all right? I guarantee you won't see no TV playing because it affect my pocket, all right? Sometimes you make mistakes and you end up making that same mistake again and again. I, when something affect your pocket, you don't make that mistake no more. You learn from it, all right? And so sometimes taking losses can be the best learning experience because when something hits your fucking pocket... Oh, you don't make that mistake. Listen, I, one time I, I didn't understand what a sign said up here in New York. They got all these confusing ass signs. And so I parked somewhere where I was supposed to park and I didn't understand the sign. That ticket was like $150. Lesson learned. I know. Don't do that shit no more. And what I mean by that, not just with that sign. If it's any sign and I don't know what the fuck it mean, just go to a parking garage. If it's a sign and I'm not 100% sure, don't say, well, I think it, I think it mean, no, fuck that. All right, $150 ticket or pay a $20 for a parking garage. All right, easy goddamn. So if it's something I don't want, it was an expensive lesson, but I learned from it. All right, guys, so take losses as learning experiences. All right, but getting back to these pills, guys, 
Uh, yeah, the blue pill guy is going to be the guy that's totally naive. And some guys, quite frankly, guys, they go through that their whole fucking life. All right. Some guys, you know, they, they don't watch the shit on YouTube or they just not experienced it. They haven't seen it. And so they just naive. And this will be the guy, his wife will come home with some, some round of fucking mouth. And he'll be like, hey, babe, you got something around your mouth right there. And then she's like, oh, I was eating a mayonnaise sandwich earlier. He just, he just totally naive. He don't know nothing. He just totally clueless to what's the fuck going on. The purple pill guy is probably the worst out the guys is because this is the motherfucker that's going to be jealous. This is the motherfucker that checks his woman. Uh, phone, check her fucking purse, always calling want to know she at. It's because he purple pill, because he knows female nature. He knows how women are, but yet he needs a relationship. He needs that intimacy with a woman, all right? And so he's never going to trust a woman. The blue pill guy, a simple, oh, yeah, I'm going to be at my friend's house the whole weekend or whatever the case may be. I'm going to help her do some decorating. This is the blue pill guy. He don't know no better. Oh, okay, all right. Tell Susan I said hello. You know, the purple pill guy, yeah, I'm going over Susan's house for a couple of hours. We're going to have a couple of drinks. When are you getting back? Because he, he knows. He knows. He probably going to be stepping out with a dude. He knows, all right? And so this is the thing, guys. Understand that if you do go to being a, a purple pill guy, you're going to always be fucking paranoid, all right? Just the bottom fucking line. The red pill guys are the guys that are going to seem like they come across as bitter. But it's really not bitter at women. It's just bitter at what their reality is. I know what my reality is. I have either two choices in life. Either accept female nature uh, for the way it is and go back purple pill. Or stay single and dating for the rest of my life. It's kind of a sad, kind of two sad choices if you ask me. Kind of, it's kind of sad if you think those are the two choices you got to make in life. Either go back to a purple pill and knowing that if you lost your job or you fell on hard times, the woman that loves you is going to be on the first thing smoking or just stay single and dating for the rest of your fucking life. No family, no kids. So it's, that's what the red pill guys come across as so builders because we know our reality. All right, guys. Like the video. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Holler back.